Absolutely true. So let's see if we can get a more fundamental understanding of what it means to say that a negative number times another negative number should make a positive number. One of the things I'm going to argue is that we should think of multiplication as scaling, that this is the best real world metaphor for what multiplication is. Imagine turning a volume knob up or down. That's multiplication. When we turn it up, we're multiplying by greater and greater numbers. If you imagine this on a number line, it's like we're stretching that number line out. Multiplying by three stretches it further than multiplying by two would. Multiplying it by four stretches it even further than that. Something interesting starts to happen though if we stretch it by smaller and smaller factors rather than larger and larger factors. At some point, of course, we generate a one-to-one -one scaling where we scale whatever the original numbers were onto themselves. And this is what it means to multiply something by one. This is why anything times one is itself. One is just the special scaling, or if you prefer, the special mapping that that takes every number and just gives back that very same number. But we can scale by even smaller factors than one. We can scale by fractions or decimals. And when we do that, we start to compress the number line. Rather than have those scalings or mappings go further away from where they were before, we see them approaching a particular number. In fact, as we continue this process, we eventually see that the entire number line collapses down to zero. So zero becomes this special number where if we multiply anything by zero, it always returns zero. And the entire number line gets compressed down to this single point. Directionally speaking, what is this telling us to expect? Scaling by larger and larger numbers has us moving further away from zero. Everything is kind of speeding away from that special point. Scaling by smaller and smaller numbers has us approaching that special point of zero. But what happens if we push even further past that special point? We get multiplication by negatives. If we scale by something as simple as negative one, what's going on on the number line? Everything that was above zero is now gonna get mapped below zero. And similarly, everything that was below zero zero is now going to get mapped above zero. It's that last bit that we mean when we say a negative times a negative is a positive. If you take some negative quantity and you scale it by a negative factor, you're not just stretching or compressing your number line, you are now flipping the entire number line around. This is why positive numbers times negative numbers become negative, and it's why negative numbers times negative numbers become positive. Many of you will know that even this is only a part of the story. If we extend our number line to be not just a number line, but a complex number plane, multiplication is going to show us scaling and it's going to show us rotation. But we'll have to save I and 90 degree rotations for a different video.